Hey guys, it's your girl Delio with PhillyDeliaEagles.com and former Eagles head coach Chip Kelly has found a new home. Um, for those of you that don't know, I was very sad to see him leave Philadelphia. I think he still just needed more time to fully execute uh, his vision there and I think we would have seen him have success. But, you know, with him gone, of course I'm going to pay attention to his moves and... Uh, I'll give you kind of my thoughts on his, him going to San Francisco. Um, when people were asking me, you know, where do I think Chip would end up, San Francisco was always one of the names I would mention because they, it seems like the right fit. For him, um, they have they've had their struggles. They did have some success early on with Harbaugh, but it fizzled out really quick. And then they had Jim um, Tom Sula, and well, that didn't work out so well either. And so they're kind of in a rebuilding phase. And they have Colin Kaepernick, who's a mobile guy, very athletic, and can produce. Uh, like he did during their NFC championship run and Super Bowl run. But um, I think what this says to me, him Chip Kelly being there, is that Kaepernick's going to stay. There was talks about him leaving, him being available, and maybe potentially going to the Eagles or any of the other teams that need some quarterbacks. But uh, I think Chip Kelly will do well with him there. Uh, we still have yet to see Chip Kelly in the NFL with a mobile quarterback. Uh, with the Philadelphia Eagles, all he had was Nick Foles and Sam Bradford. Those guys do not move well, yet he still had moderate success with them. And I think Chip Kelly does, um, he can really, he can take kind of an average or moderate quarterback and make him play better than he normally would in another organization. And that's just what I witnessed with Nick Foles when we saw him. He did really well with Philly and then when he went to the Rams he ended up getting benched you know so uh, I think Chip Kelly is really good with quarterbacks he can make them play to a higher potential but also um, he does things differently and the problem with that is people don't if they don't understand something they think it's wrong or they think it's a failure right and that's what happened in Philadelphia where a majority of the fan base and even you know the players and the, you know, the front office, they didn't understand what he was trying to do. Me, as an athlete, I tried to think that I understood a little bit of what he was trying to accomplish. But the most important thing to you 49ers fans and the players there is these players better get ready to work, okay? Because the final kind of reports with Chip Kelly and the Eagles, there was supposedly drama um, or kind of conflict with the some of the players in the locker room that they weren't happy with the way Chip Kelly worked them. It'll be interesting. I'm very interested to see how this 49ers group uh, of players responds to what Chip Kelly does. And I think now knowing a little bit more going into it is going to help them be more accepting of it versus... Where the Eagles, it was it was all brand new. Nobody knew what to expect. And then all of a sudden they're like, hey, man, this isn't what we signed up for. And when you're an athlete, though, it's not a normal nine to five job. So you, you know you're going to have to go above and beyond. And it's those that do it and do it with the right attitude that will benefit. One of the wide receivers, uh, Tori Smith, tweeted right away, guess I might have to start running now, right now to get in shape. So to me, that says Chip Kelly, he's going to work you harder than any other coach has ever worked you. And the problem is different athletes have different responses to this type of intensity and almost torturous type of workouts. Um, some players don't want to work hard. They've gotten to where they're at. They're complacent and they're fine being mediocre, average and just good. But what separates the good from the elite, you know, is that dedication to really torture yourself, you know, in a sense where you work so much harder. Like this isn't a normal job. So guys that are complaining about working too hard or crazy hours, well, that's what you signed up for. This isn't a normal nine to five job. This comes with a lot of other pieces, a lot of other complications within it. And you know going in, and if you don't want to 
work hard to be the best, then you're never going to get there. So um, I'll be curious to see how the players respond to Chip Kelly's um, system and his trainings and how hard he works them. For me, if they can stick with it, they will get better and they will succeed. Um, and that's just from my personal experience. Um, the harder you work, the better you're going to be. And even though you can barely walk after your workouts or if you have bruises from, you know, just falling and stumbling and all these things, it's going to be worth it in the end because your body's going to build to this well-oiled machine that nobody's ever seen before. So uh, let me know your thoughts. I know I'm kind of rambling on, oh, Chip Kelly. It's sad to see him somewhere else. And I, it's going to suck to see him succeed somewhere else because in the back of my mind I know it could have been us succeeding you know down the line if we had been patient but now speaking of the Eagles and their lack of a head coach uh, there's been a lot of talks I've been trying to remove myself from the whole situation because as you know I'm a little frustrated and I don't know I have some questions now with Lori in the front office and their decision making skills and their kind of flip-flopping tendencies where you know, even with Tom Coughlin, he was one of the top candidates this week, and then Coughlin backs out and removes himself as, you know, a potential hire. And I feel like they're sitting back and we're just watching all these other coaches and potential prospects for the Eagles get hired. So uh, I'm just, I don't know where we're going to end up, guys. I honestly, even no matter who we hire, I don't know how they're going to act with what we have right now so I don't know I'm just in a weird place guys but wanted to give you my two cents on Chip Kelly going to the 49ers so let me know what you think in the comments below that's it uh, I'll actually be doing my um, my picks video for the divisional wildcard matchups today probably this evening so stay tuned it's your girl Delio with PhiladeliaEagles.com signing off E-H-E-L-E-S Eagles